it's day one of vlogmas i hope you're all well it's luckily it's fallen on sunday which gives me a chance to kind of ease into vlogmas because sunday's a day off the dogs are chewing something out there i don't know what they're chewing so i'm in my craft room um i popped in some footage of what i've been doing this morning it's about eight o'clock now but prior to now i have been um doing a bit of work some resin work ready for an event that i've got on friday next week um i'm going to be doing lots of pours this week so you might see me doing a bit of resin work throughout the week so i thought i would open both my calendars for you i have a fabric godmother calendar i've got it open which is why i'm holding it slightly wonky i love the box that this comes in because the box will get used probably in here and saved because it's such a pretty box um i've actually got this fabric as well we have day one Let's have a look and see what's inside day one. Oh, it's a needle minder from the edit. So I'm not sure that second magnet's supposed to be in there, or maybe it is, maybe I'm wrong. But there's a second magnet in there. It's a smiley face. Can you see that? It's really pretty. It's resin. I love anything resin, so it's always a win for me. But yeah, there's two magnets. I'm not so sure whether there's supposed to be two magnets or not. And that's from the edit. That's cute. I like that. Breaking you in. Okay, so that's day one. And then I have this calendar. This is from Adele. Now my Kylie Machines calendar is upstairs, so I'll open that one a bit later. I've got to find number one now. Let me stop and then come back on. Okay, so number one. I'm actually quite excited for Adele's because, I don't know, I like buying for my friends. And you know that when a friend's bought for you, there's thought gone into whatever the gift is. So it's wrapped up in this. Oh, look at them. I'm going to put these on to show you. <laughs> these are gorgeous. Definitely get some Christmas wear out of these. Look at these. Look at how sparkly they are. So they're lovely resin earrings. Lovely Christmassy resin earrings. And the resin, I don't know if you, you can see this, but it's this gorgeous sort of pink and greeny, glitzy kind of mix. They're absolutely stunning. I really, really like them. Thank you very much, Adele. Day one. That's a good day one present. It's wrapped in Liberty tissue paper, so I'm not sure whether she got it at Liberty, but she did that's quite exciting so that is calendars for day one i have got one more to open but i will grab that out a bit later and i'll bring you back on and do that i am going to go and have a cup of coffee and start some housework and then i am going to get myself together and dress here here <laughs> you're in my hand a bit unsteady so apologies about that 
I'm back in my craft room. Now I'm going to say craft room for now because I've literally just been packing Jazz and Wow orders. So I thought I'd show you some because they just look so pretty and Christmassy. I've done basically my backlog. I've had some orders come in over the weekend, but I'm not touching them because I've had to make a few more bits up with resin. But I'll do them tomorrow morning um, before I start work because you'll get to see how I fit this all in. So I just thought I'd show you. So these have been really popular. I can only assume someone has shared these recently. But these ones here have been ever so popular. Let me turn my camera around so you can see. So yeah, these are just like glittery gold stars with gold... Um, stars on the bottom now i have actually done some silver and somebody did message me about having some silver ones and i posted them out to her i just i've been taking them to a few of the fairs that i've been doing and they've been selling out really quickly these are my bows which are gold and black um and some of the mixes have got stronger mixes than others it just depends that's the nice thing about these they're all really unique <laughs> they're flying everywhere sorry guys trying to hold them steady so yeah you can see all that black and gold in there and then they've got the shining stars as well and because these are going out in december they've all got a little santa chocolate in them um and then we've got some more gold stars some more gold stars and then this one here is my little gorgeous green sparkly leaves that seem to be really popular um they've been they're like an old stock of mine that have been continuously put back in because everybody seems to love them and then loads of these key rings so this is the roll rose gold version i don't think it comes up very well in color and each one of them is unique in what's on the actual keychain because I've basically got a mix so like this one here you can see it's got a thread a safety pin buttons and um, this one here has got a measuring tape it's got a sewing machine on it and then I think this one's got very very similar to that first one so yeah they're all slightly unique so I've just packed all of them up okay so all those orders are over there and done and ready to go to the post office in the morning which is great um what am i wearing today i thought i'd let you know because it is a me made it's a uh, comfy i'm cleaning i'm doing lots of stuff around the house kind of thing it's the south bank sweater from nina lee um this is one that i made the actual dress in but then i um hacked it back to be the jumper and then i've kind of chucked it on i've got a pair of tilly and the buttons um red joggers that i wear with it so it's definitely more like loungewear um but i've only been to my mum's and to the shop as being out of the house and i don't mind doing that because it's like wearing a cohort so i really needed to get that done and feel like i'm organized so they can go tomorrow in my lunch break i'll probably add more to that in the morning um from the resin pile that i did today because there's quite a lot of stuff sold where um, they sold pretty quickly and I've just not had a chance to get the stock done so I'll be making them up but I really wanted to come on and show you some bits so yesterday I had a delivery from So Me Sunshine now I've never ordered from So Me Sunshine this is the first time I've ordered from So Me Sunshine and I was very very impressed with how quick it came so I got a little card in there and you can tell I've not even really opened it because it came quite late last night from the every guy and i think it was the every delivery driver that delivered it and my partner took the parcel and he's, he, get, he felt it and he was like that is more fabric you don't need any more fabric and he's not wrong i don't need any more fabric that's not to say i don't want any more fabric um i was actually on here looking for something um the other day for somebody else and uh i came across these bits and decided i loved them so i wanted them now as you know i have my colors redone well not redone i have my colors done if you watch my friday shows you'll know that i have my colors done and i've come out as a winter and it just reminded me of some colors i could wear and this viscose lawn was on there and it's in all the blues so these are all blues that suit me quite well but when you look up close at the fabric you've got these gorgeous tigers on there now, I don't think I'll actually use this until um, winter, although I did think it would make a look to winter, till summer. I did think it would make a lovely summer robe as well. So that is just going to go straight into that cubby hole there. Just squeeze it in. No, it doesn't want to stay. It's kind of lopsided. You can't really see it. And then for now, 
look at this now i don't particularly like a cable net a really really chunky one but this is a lovely fine cable net and i just think it's absolutely stunning now there's every part of me that wants to make something for myself with this but i have actually ordered it for my mum but whether she'll get it i don't know yet because it's just really really lovely sorry i'm just it's the first time i've actually opened it up it's really narrow um it's absolutely stunning it's my color but my mum would love it as well and i have ordered it to make her a really nice sort of cow neck jumper I'm thinking of using the Sarah wide sleeve sweater from Ellie and Mac, the pattern that I've recently fallen in love with, but making it with a cow neck because she loves a cow neck. Um, I've got her sizes today because my mum with her, with how unwell she's been recently, she's just lost so much weight. She's gone from being like a size 14 down to a size eight. Um, so I had no idea what her measurements were, but I've got them today. So um, I'm hoping that I can do that. I'm going to wash it. See, I have got this that I was thinking of making a jumper for him, but I also got a blue navy cotton jersey from um, Found Fabrics, and she'd equally like a top in that. So I'm a little bit undecided as to which one to go for because I know that I'd like something in that. Is it incredibly selfish of me to keep this fabric and do something for her in that one when she's got? loads of bought presents from me too it's terrible isn't it and then the final thing that i bought myself that i just couldn't resist and this was when i was looking for something for somebody else and i looked at this and thought they quite like this but it's more me than them so they're not having it i'm having it and it's a brocade fabric and i don't tend to go for a brocade fabric i have no idea what i'm going to make with it i've never made anything with brocade but it's just absolutely gorgeous and i couldn't resist it so i'm probably going to speak to some of the ladies at the staffordshire social in a couple of weeks and see what they would suggest i'd make with it i mean i could see a bomber jacket in this this would make a gorgeous bomber jacket i've got two meters of it so yeah that all arrived last night and then yesterday i had my sewing social so i thought you'd like to see this because you're not going to get like the weekly friday sews updates from me so i had my sewing social yesterday i made a couple of bits that i've entered into the gift in november challenge um i made two of the same thing so i can't actually i couldn't enter them individually one of them which is this pair here i had an absolute mare with so these are pajama bottoms in this lady mcelroy fabric that i got from fabricland which was half the price than what you pay in lady mcelroy fabrics but it's their brush cotton and it's really nice and i have even managed to more or less pattern match this and i really don't know how i did that because i was going wrong in every which way yesterday on this particular pair they're the jamie pajama bottoms by tilly and the buttons um and they've got um they just couldn't be any more straightforward um i popped in a label that says made by mum that i got from little rosy cheeks i had started doing the buttonholes to um put the thread through for them and i went so wrong that they are on the inside and i just thought you know what after I'd already unpicked these twice, I decided I wasn't going to do it again. And um, because this fabric frays, I didn't want to unpick it anymore. So they're Willow's pair. She was actually down there. Now, whilst they are going to be a gift, they're going to be for near Christmas. She was there, so I got her to try them on to make sure the fit was okay on her. So I knew that I'd then get the fit okay on her sister because they're about the same size. Jasmine's just ever so slightly more slight than Willow. So... Um, I've made the same size up, but I've popped a little bit tighter um, elastic in these ones. So they're exactly the same fabric. Again, these ones just look so much better because they are done better. Um, again, accidentally done some pattern matching on this. I think I've done quite well with this. And again, I've popped the Made by Mum um, sticker in from Little Rosy Cheeks and you can see the elastic's a little bit more drawn because I've made it a little bit tighter for Jasmine. So I have a red cotton jersey to make a t-shirt willow has specifically asked me for a white t-shirt to go with hers so um i'm gonna do that for her and i think i actually th sat and thought about it and thought about the kind of tops that the girls wear and where i was going to use the tabitha t-shirt pattern for the pajama tops i think i need to make the agnes tees up for them because it's got a lower neck and that's what they tend to wear 
So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm just, I need to reorder the pattern or reprint the pattern, which I might try and do when I'm in the office on Wednesday. Um, just reprint it on A4 um, and then I've got it. Now, whilst I was at Sewing Social yesterday, I had a lovely surprise because I didn't expect it at all, but I had a couple of presents given to me. So I haven't opened this one. This is from the lovely Claire, who is what, um, who is what? I'm what, Beck Sews, who is Love Red Sews here on YouTube. She's actually just been keeping me company whilst I've been packing them up. I've been watching her vlog from yesterday and it's been really nice. I always watch Claire's vlog on a Sunday. I quite like it. And she's doing Vlogmas this year as well, but she's doing it as a weekly event. So that'll also be quite nice because it is so hard to keep up with the day-to-days. And I have a few vloggers I like to watch every year but you don't always have time to watch them. So yeah, she's bought me that. Now I'm gonna keep that for Christmas day because I don't tend to get many presents under the tree and I thought it would be nice to have that under there. But I thought that was a lovely gift from Claire. So thank you very much because it was really thoughtful and I didn't expect anything. Then I got a couple of bits from Carol, Wendy and Jackie. So they'd all gone in together to buy me something. These are the three that I went to Birmingham uh, so Brum with. And they're usually the three that I sit with with Adele um, and Heather um, on the at the actual social. We're always quite close by. And I just thought this was incredibly sweet. Now, Carol herself, she usually comes a little bit early every week to help me set up because I have such problems with my pain, um, I find it quite challenging and Scott will come and help me, um, but she's always there early and she always stays to the end to help me tidy up afterwards, which is just really, really sweet of her. So she had gone in with the girls, they bought me a piece of fabric, which I love and I think I know what I want to make with. I'm gonna pop it in the wash, I just wanted to keep it out to show you. This is a French Terry. Now originally I thought it was a cotton jersey because it feels so beautiful and this is it here so it's red and it's got what i would say the peacock feathers that you get so the fabric isn't coming up well it's probably because i've got a red top on but it is like a bright vibrant red and then it's got these piercing blue you can tell it's getting dark outside piercing blue um peacock feather pieces in there so i think this would make a really gorgeous mila jumper by tammy handmade um, I've got the pattern up there and it's actually a really nice quick sew and I might lengthen it slightly so I can wear it with leggings because it'll probably get a little bit more wear um, if I'm able to do that. So I'm going to make that up probably in the very near future because I just think that fabric's lovely. It feels really, really nice. And like I said, I want to get it in the wash so I can use it. I've got lots of things going through the wash at the moment, lots of fabrics going through the wash at the moment. And then the other thing, which is probably the most thoughtful gift, they obviously put a lot of thought into the fabric choice for me, but they know that with my fibromyalgia, sometimes one of the places it really affects is my hands. Um, and I do struggle with that. And they've bought me a pair of electric scissors, which I just thought was so sweet because I have problems using the actual fabric scissors and I've shifted to a rotary cutter and sometimes just that motion and holding it like that really hurts. If the pain's really, really bad, it hurts. So they've bought me these and these are, I haven't even opened it up yet. These are a pair of electric scissors. Now I am gonna try and use these this week. They're really, really loud. Um, Carol's got a pair, she brings them quite often to the group. Um, but I've bought one of my tables home with me because normally, when I cut, I cut in here on the floor. I cut literally where I'm sitting because my mat just fits perfectly between my desk and this Calax unit. But I bought the table um, because I can pop that up outside in my sort of utility area bit in the shed bit. And I can pop my mat on it because I'm having problem, a lot of problems with my back at the moment. So um, that would just help me a little bit. But yeah, this is a set. I'm gonna give it a whirl this week so you can see me um, try it. But it's brilliant. You get little ear earphones as well, so I can stick them in to try and block out the noise. But I just thought it was a really, really thoughtful gift. They really are a lovely, lovely three. Lovely three. So thank you very much, ladies. I really appreciate it because I know they all watch my channel as well. So yeah, they got me them. I'm just going to pop these in this bag so I don't end up with a massive pile on my desk. Because believe it or not, I've tied it in here three times today and then I've loaded it back up with more stuff. Um, then Carol 
Carol and Helen. So Carol bought, Carol was doing a bit of a de-stash and she bought loads of her de-stash fabrics with her um, to, for us all to have a look at. And she also put some on the swaps table. So before everybody got there, I went to the swaps table and nabbed this fabric. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. I think this would be really nice in a Drew. Um, so I can't really wear yellow, but it's got gorgeous sort of vibrant orange. I'd say that's more orange than it is red and it's that neon pop. And I think this would be really nice as a Drew jumper as to kind of color block it. It's a snake skin print and texture. It's like a velvet. It might be a bit more of a Velboa. Velboa, Velboa, I don't know. But I really liked it and I thought it was unusual and I thought it would be really nice to add in as more of a piece. So maybe into like making it the black French terry with this as a pop of colour. So yeah, I nabbed that from the swaps table because that one went on the swaps and then Carol had a load on her de-stash. So I picked up this, which is just a plain black viscose, really lightweight. You can see how lightweight that is uh, jersey because I thought this would be great for t-shirts. Um, and I do want to make the girls a couple of t-shirts, myself a couple of t-shirts. There's a few meters there, so I should be able to get, because the girls like everything cropped, a couple of t-shirts out for them. This I really like, so I picked this up. Now this isn't for me, because I don't think I can, I don't know, the, the colors are my colors, but because of the red and the orange, the light olive orange, because of the light blue and the light orange, I don't know, I just don't know. But I thought this would be really nice for um, children's makes and I've got a real hankering to make some things for my colleagues children or any child to be fair. Um, there's a little lad next door as well. I may even go as far to make him something because I just want to make some children's clothes. I don't know why, um, but I do. And then um, my daughter asked me for a t-shirt in white and I knew I had no white. So she had this white sort of like creamy coloured viscose jersey very much like what my daughter likes to wear so I picked that up off of her as well I think she charged me like a quid for that piece but yeah that was really really cheap and then um I picked up this I really liked this it's gray and it's the gray color that was in my book so I thought that'd be perfect and then you've got the black in there so yeah an unusual choice for me but I did think that would be great um, in the coming months. I actually think that might make a really nice sort of cardigan um, as a layering piece, not that I ever really wear a lot of plain. And the final piece of fabric, because you know I really need fabric right now, is this. This is a gorgeous, sparkly, glittery gold. Now, I have this in silver, so I've got a silver version of something like this. Um, and I just couldn't resist the sparkle. Now, I don't typically tend to wear gold. Gold is not my shade, silver is my shade, but because it's black and it's just got that shimmer, I couldn't resist getting it, and I thought, I'm gonna get it because I thought it was just beautiful. Um, it's almost got like a striping effect. I don't know if you can see that. And then the final thing I picked up, yes, there was more. This is what happens when people bring stuff. I mean, I would actually recommend people bring in their de-stash stuff with them on a regular basis um, because it was great to shop for fabric there. I am tempted to order in some fabrics and do a little pop-up like Ruth because I think the ladies might like that, um, but we'll just see. Um, anyway, this was the final few bits. I got these off of the swaps table. So there's a lovely lady called Carol Ty who attends my sewing social and she has a little business called Carol Ty Designs. She makes little bags and stuff. Now I know I could make these, but they're so much better when somebody else makes them. Um, and there was this sort of big pouch here. And I thought, you know what, that's great. When I go away to my third clo weekend, oh, that'd be great. And then there was this little one here. So I really like them. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but I like them, so I thought I had to have them terrible they were on the swaps table and then i also picked up some snips off the swaps table because i'm always losing mine there was a couple of pairs on there um and to be fair i the reason i picked them up and i picked up a bag of um safety pins um the reason that i picked them up is because i bought this now this is my caddy that adam so has made me um that i purchased from him got eaten by my dog 
when she, when he was a puppy. So I don't have like a caddy to carry anything with me when I go to my sewing socials. So I often find that I forget things and it's really frustrating. So I purchased this because this is a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous box. It looks very orangey, but it is definitely pink. And then when you open it up, you've got like a little shelf on the top that comes out and then you've got this lovely deep bit there. You've also got the normal things that you get in your sewing box where you've got like a little place to store things in here and you've got your um, soft needle pad here. Now, you're gonna think I'm mad, but I really want to have sewing social specific. I have two a month. I have my own and I have the Staffordshire social. And that's not to mention when I go to retreats and everything like that. And I thought, well, it's calendar time of the year. I have loads of stuff that comes as a duplication in advent calendars. Um, and I have duplications of things everywhere. So for example, a pair of these snips could just go right in here. So I know that when I go to a sewing social, there is always a pair of snips there. So I'm kind of hoping that I can build a second, everything you need for a sewing social in this box here. And I'm gonna keep it in here for the time being whilst I fill out with some of the duplicates that I've got in this room and go from there. Now I realise that I've been talking for probably 20 minutes now and I still haven't finished the day and I still wanna do a bit of sewing, but it's 20 minutes, it's Vlogmas, um, you don't need extra long ones from me. You've probably got about half an hour's worth of footage of me today, so apologies about that. I promise there will be a lot shorter going through. So I'm not gonna film any more of my day. I'm gonna sign off here with all my goodies that you have now seen and catch you all tomorrow, um, which is a working day, but I am working from home tomorrow. So happy Vlogmas day one, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>